Hey guys, I just want to make a quick video and show off some of my most favorite Osborne books. So I'm going to go ahead and get started because I have a big stack here. Um, the first one I want to show, this is one of our Peek Inside books. This is Peek Inside a Fairy Tale, and this one happens to be Little Red Riding Hood. So as you can see, this is a very sturdy board book with these really adorable cutouts all throughout. And these are geared towards your younger preschool, probably down to your older, older toddler age. And they do have some flaps, so that's where we have to be careful with uh, the age range. Those little ones like to tear flaps. But these books are so cute. We have three of the fairy tale ones. We have this one, Cinderella, and Beauty and the Beast. And then we have some regular ones that are not fairy tales, like Jungle, Zoo, Nighttime, Animal Homes, um, Space, and Farm. So if the fairy tales aren't your style, there's plenty of other kind of generic ones. Okay, the next book that I want to show, this is all better. This is one of my all-time favorites, and I'm so glad that it is finally back in stock. Um, it was out of stock until February, so it just came back. But this is a picture book for, I'd say, younger children all the way up through maybe first grade. But as you read through this picture book, you find these animals that have boo-boos. And so they need you to get a bandage for them. So you go back to the front and get your reusable flexi bandage so these are pretty sturdy they last a while and just stick it right on there um, this book is really great if you have kids that you're trying to explain illness and injury to if you have somebody in the family that has a broken arm or maybe has been in the hospital it's a great way to introduce the topic without scaring kids um, because sometimes you know talking about hospitals and doctors can kind of frighten them so this is a good introduction to that this next book is What's Below. This is a new release as of January 2017, and this is a nonfiction pop-up book. So you can see it has some beautiful illustrations. It doesn't have a ton of text. They don't want to overwhelm you with the text. Um, the illustrations kind of do the talking, but it's a really cool look underneath. Um, so different habitats and just different um, locations. So we've got dinosaurs there and then this one I love is underneath the city which is really neat so kids will love these pop-up books um, being nonfiction we really try to make the books interesting and different and interactive in some way just to keep attention because if you're reading a nonfiction textbook sometimes it can get kind of boring a little bit dry so most of our books are interactive um, in some different way and speaking of interactive, the next books I want to show are our wipe clean books. These are our dry erase books, and we have tons of these. There's probably about 30. Um, they start out with the pen control ones here, and they come with a dry erase marker. These are a plastic flexi kind of page, so they're really difficult to destroy. So you can start these with your younger kids, your toddlers who are learning to hold the pen, interested in trying to write. And get them practicing they can do lots of tracing and drawing in these beginner pen control ones and we even have ones that are just simply activities if you have kids that are reluctant to practice their writing it's an activity book so they won't even realize that they're working um, because it, it seems like fun to them so we start out with the pen control here like I said there are tons of these and then one of the oldest ones is our times tables here that helps your kids with their multiplication and the great thing about these is you can use them for multiple kids because they are dry erase. Um, just erase them, store them, and pull them back out when you need them again. And then your kids can practice over and over too. It's not like a workbook when it's done, it's done. Uh, you can try it a few more times. But there are tons of these. There's ABCs, 123s, like I said, activities. Um, there's also first math if you're not quite to multiplication yet. And those are addition and subtraction. And then we also have one about telling time. So we're kind of all over the board with those. Lots of different options for you. Okay, next I want to show some of our Lift the Flat books. These are some of my most favorite books that we offer. This one here is the Lift the Flat First Questions and Answers. And this is the new one from January also. This is How Do I See? This one is all about your senses. And these books, the first questions and answers are geared towards your older toddlers up through preschool 
So you can see they don't have a ton of text. They do have a ton of illustrations. But they're very sturdy board books. They do have flaps. So if you have flap rippers, you need to be aware of that. But really adorable illustrations. And they have just enough information to satisfy your kids' questions. Um, because we know they all have lots and lots of questions all the time. So this is the first questions and answers. And then we have the regular questions and answers. So I want to show you the size difference here. So they're quite a bit bigger than the first questions and answers. And they're geared towards a little bit older kids. So these are going to be your preschool through first and second grade. Now this one is questions and answers about food. This again was the January release, so it's brand new. And it has tons of awesome flaps also. These big ones are written in a what, where, when, why, how question style. So these are just really fun, interactive books for your kids. Um, studies have shown that getting your hands on can really help you retain information. So with these being nonfiction, again, it's so important that they have an interactive feature to keep your kids engaged and excited about what they're reading. And we don't want it to be a textbook. So this is really a fun alternative to a textbook. So we have tons of those questions and answers. I've got the body one here. We have ones about animals, dinosaurs, space, our world, um, just a general knowledge one. There's a new one about time and one about science. So lots of really great options here if your kids are into these lift the flap kind of books. Okay, the next one I wanna show are my most favorites. These are our Shine a Light books. We have the two brand new ones. We've got Wonders of the USA and Secrets of Our Earth. I'm going to show this one because it's my favorite. So these are nonfiction picture books. And they're really, really awesome interactive books as well. So you can see not a ton of text. Again, we don't want kids to be overwhelmed with the text. We want them to really immerse themselves in the scene that is being set up. So here it asks a question. Every page has a question and you shine your flashlight behind the page to see the hidden picture. So you see the people down there? Pretty cool, huh? So every single page has one of these awesome features and your kids will be amazed trying to find what the hidden picture is on every page. It's like a puzzle, but really, really fun. Um, lots of flashlight features as we call them. So there are 13 of these books and I'll show you inside this one. Um, we have these two. We have one about the human body, one about animal camouflage. We've got the seashore. We've got on a plane, on a train. We've got vegetable garden. We have um, rainforest. Just lots of options. So I'm sure you could find one uh, that works for you. But that's all I have for my most favorite books. So I thank you guys for watching. And I hope you enjoyed it, and maybe some of these books will become your favorites.